today I'm going to show you how to add different user fields to different user roles in Drupal. So for example, uh, let's say we have two user roles, teacher and student, and we want to add a particular field name class to the student and another field subject to the teacher. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve that functionality. So uh, this is my freshly installed Drupal uh, website and uh, I have already logged in as my admin credentials. So first of all, we are going to add two different user roles. So for that, we will go to people, roles, and here we will click on add roles. One more with name student. So now we have created two additional roles. Uh, in this video, I'm not covering the permissions part, so you can do that as per your requirement. Next thing, uh, we are going to add additional fields. So we will go to configuration, account settings, manage fields, and here we will add a simple field. So I, I'm using here text plane and the name class. So uh, you should not uh, select this as a required field. So we are not going to make this field as required. We will create one more field. Subject. Now we will go to the configuration, sorry, people and we will try to add a new user. So as you can see, uh, these newly created fields, class and subject, they both are visible here. And what we want that uh, when we select a user role teacher, in that case only uh, the subject field should appear. And when we go for student role, in that case, uh, class field should be appeared on the page. So how to do that? How to do that? Uh, we are going to use hooks, and in particular, we are going to use form hook form alter. So this is the hook we are going to use, and I'm going to show you how we can do that. So first of all, uh, I'm going to create a a new module. So I will go to the directory of my website so this is the directory of my website and here i will run a command so i'm using drush here to generate the module template file so it will ask me the name of the module so i'm keeping it roles fields So I just need to create a module file in this module. So I'm not going to create uh, other files. So I will just keep uh, pressing enter. So this module is created. Now, if I go to my extent and if I search for this module, I can see that and I installed it so so far we don't have anything in this module uh, I will go to this module web modules role fields and I will open this file so the file with dot module extension So this is the file. So at the moment, this file is empty. And uh, as I mentioned, we are going to use this hook form alter 
function so we will just uh, take the signature of this function and sorry So this function is actually executed whenever any form is rendered in Drupal. There is another hook which is uh, executed on a on rendering of a particular form, uh, but uh, in this uh, video I'm using this uh, in the, the general hook. Now here, uh, the first thing is how to specify the name of this function. So here uh, you have to replace the name hook with your module name. So my module name is roles. Fields. This is the first part. The second part is that, uh, as I said, this function is executed on rendering of every Drupal form. And what I want, I want to execute that code on rendering of this particular form. So now the next thing is how should I know the, what is the name or ID of this form? So what we are going to do, we are going to si simply print this form ID form ID I have saved this file now I will clear the cache so that Drupal should load this updated file now uh, when I refresh this page is showing me the ID of this particular form, user register form. So in the code, we will put a condition that if form ID equal to user register form. So if this is the case, then execute the code. So here we will write our code. So uh, now what, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to use states property of form element. So first of all, we are going to uh, hide the subject and class field. And we will do the same for class so now let me clear the cache again and So next, uh, we are going to see the uh, this form object. So as you can see here, uh, we will find our fields. So these are the fields like field class and field subject. And for these two, we are going to change their states like we are going to change their visibility so these are the two field we are going to change field class and field subject we will go back to our code we will remove it and now uh, i'm going to use this particular syntax 
So form, uh, here I will specify the name of the field and then I specify the states. So Drupal form elements have states which allow us to uh, modify those states depend, depending on other form element. So in this one, uh, we specify three things, state, selector, condition. So here a state could be visible, checked, unchecked, uh, enabled, and selector, this is uh, like uh, specifying for specifying the particular element on that page. So you can uh, think it as a uh, JavaScript selector of an uh, element. And the uh, last thing is condition. So uh, the overall meaning of this is that uh, the visible state of this particular element depends on the checked state of this particular element so this element name is roles teacher and now the question is uh, how would we know uh, the name of the this form element so we, what we will do uh, we will go to our page So here, what I want to achieve is that when I click on teacher, uh, there should be some changes in these fields. So this is the element on which the state of these fields depends. So I will check the, I will go for inspect. And here, so this is the particular element in which we are interested. And as you can see, the name of this element is roles teacher. So we are going to specify the condition here. So we will write dollar form. So first of all, specify the state. So state is visibility. So whether the element will be visible or not, then we will take another array. And in this array, first we will specify the selector. So I will replace it with the proper selector and then we will specify the condition. So in the selector, uh, it has a particular syntax and the syntax is input name is equal to roles teacher and the condition what we are checking that this element is checked so yeah let's uh, uh, save it and uh, go to Configuration clear all the caches. So now we go to the our user creation form. We will update it, and as we can see, uh, the subject field is disappeared. And when we click on teacher, in that case only, it is getting appeared. So just to make things more visible. Uh, I will change the order of uh, these fields. So here, uh, by default, the subject field is now not visible. And uh, now we will do the same thing with our class field. So this field will be only visible if the student role is uh, selected. We'll go to caches, we will clear it. 
and now we will go to the user creation form we will update it so now we cannot see both fields so when i select teacher in that case subject field is getting appeared when i'm selecting student in that case class field is getting appeared so i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you thank you very much for watching